Shalom, brothers and sisters. All praises goes to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. So I just want to go over Habakkuk, brothers and sisters, chapter 1. So y'all bear with me on this particular video. Uh, we're going to see some interesting things about the heathens here. And this particular chapter is really dealing with Yahshuaq. So as you hear Habakkuk in his complaint and the Most High's answers, it's all dealing with mostly Yahshua. So uh, let's 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 just get in get right into it. So right here, verse one says, "The oracle that Habakkuk the prophet saw, O Yahuwah, how long shall I cry for help, and you will not hear?" Or cry to you violence. And you will not save. Why do you make me see inequity? And why do you idly look at wrong? Destruction and violence are before me. Strife and contention arise. So the law is paralyzed. The law is paralyzed. You know what that means? These heathens have took the Torah and trampled it underneath their feet. And they tell you that the law is done away with. You don't have to do it no more. They give you a, a license to sin. They, they tell you, do what thou wilt. Obey your own self-righteousness as you interpret the scripts. So we know that that's where we came from and we're no longer in that particular religion anymore that tells you these things. And justice never goes forth for the wicked surround the righteous. So justice goes forth perverted. And we know we see that in the earth today. Look among the nations and see wonder and be astonished. For I am doing a work in your days that you would not believe if told. For behold, I am raising up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, who march through the breadth of the earth to seize dwellings not their own. So we know that Chaldeans is synonymous with bitter, hasty nation. And we know the first Chaldeans that we went into captivity to was the Babylonians. So Babylonians is also synonymous with um, the bitter, hasty nation. When you put those two together, you will see that according to Daniels, that fourth kingdom was a terrible beast that they couldn't even name one beast for it. It was just some new, new horrifying put together beast. And that's what this final kingdom was going to be like. It's going to be like all those beasts wrapped up in one into some new, nasty, horrible, terrible final beast system. But let's go over here and let's go to the war scrolls right here and read this here. Violent men have sought. Oh, by the way, you can download the War Scrolls on my website in the description box below. Violent men have sought after my life because I have clung to your covenant. For they, in the assembly of deceit and the horde of Baileyal, know not that my stand is maintained by you. And they... Teachers of lies and seers of falsehood have schemed against me a devilish scheme to exchange the Torah engraved on my heart. Y'all see that? Circumcise your heart. The second covenant put in your minds and hearts to do them by you for the suit for the smooth things. So they exchange the Torah for smooth things that do what thou wilt. Do whatever you want. Love how you ever you want type of speech which they speak 
to your people. But thou, O Elohim, do despise all Belial's designs. Rejoice, rejoice, and be glad with gladness. Celebrate your feast and pay your vows, for there is no Belial in your midst. Behold, the enemy shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be dispersed. For behold, I rouse the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation interpreted. This concerns the Ketum. The Ketum is the Roman jaw, who are quick and valiant in war, causing many to perish. All the world shall fall under the dominion of the Ketum, and the wicked shall not believe in the laws of Elohim. This is why they created their Christianity, their Catholicism, and destroyed the law from your minds and your hearts that you would not do them, brothers and sisters. But all those who despise the ordinances and statutes, the evil ones will be repaid their due when Elohim visits the land. So, don't worry about it, y'all. If they don't hear your message, then... They don't hear the message. Move on to the next. Who will? For the Most High will repay them for trampling on his laws, statutes, and commandments. The hand of the might of Elohim in battle, so as to bring down all the slain because of unfaithfulness. On the trumpets of ambush they shall write mysteries of Elohim to wipe out wickedness. On the trumpets of pursuit they shall write, Elohim has struck all sons of darkness. So let's go back. Well, let's go over here right quick. Now right here in Jubilees chapter 15, 30 through 33, uh, 31, uh, it pretty much tells us that uh, even though all the nations are his, uh, and over all have he placed spirits in authority to lead them astray from him. The Most High placed spirits over all the nations to lead them astray from him. Why? Because he knew them. He knew them. But he chose Yashara to be his people, y'all. But he knew all the other nations would would not follow him. And even though we fail here and there, the Most High made a special covenant with us to be his people. So his name is on us. And for his name's sake, he is saving us and having mercy on us, brothers and sisters. So you got to remember that and praise Almighty Yah for that. That you're not like all the other nations, you know, as a whole nation. Doesn't mean that the individuals cannot be saved out of these nations and join with Yasharal. And join with Yahusha. They can, brothers and sisters. So let's go back to Habakkuk. For behold, I am raising up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation. We tell my Rome here too now. The Babylonians who march through the breadth of the earth and to seize dwellings that's not their own. And we know that, look, they, they have the whole of Europe, of course, that's their lands. They took over Africa. They took over North and South America and Central America, too, even though the Mexicans are there, but we know who's running that. They took over Australia. And we know that they, they was, uh, they still control India, even though they so-called gave India back and all this other stuff. Uh-uh, they control them through the banks. And behind the scenes, China's being, and Russia's being controlled by, uh, Rome as well. And Asia. So, they own everything. They, they got everything underneath their hand. He saw in Japheth together. They are dreaded and fearsome. Their justice and dignity go forth from, from themselves. The horses are swifter than leopards, more fierce than the evening wolves. Their horsemen press proudly on. Their, their horsemen come from afar. They fly like the eagle, swift to devour. So, I don't even have to say much on that one. Now, this goes with also 2nd Esdras 
chapter 15 where it talks well, well many other places talk about the eagle as well but anyway they fly like an eagle swift to devour they all come for violence all their faces forward they gather captives like sand and it's not just Yasharar went underneath captivity to them you also got to look at all the other nations like India who went under captivity to them the Hamites throughout Africa went into captivity to them the Asians went into captivity to them through the economic system of democracy and uh, banking and multiple other ways that we in other nations all went under captivity to this bitter and hasty nation of people at at kings they scoff and at rulers they laugh they laugh at every fortress for they pile up earth and take it y'all y'all see this think about the cruelness if you have never read those books about, you know, what, what Columbus was writing about uh, where he went. And then you read about the things he'd done and, and, and all the things that they done when they got there under the orders of some pope back in the day saying that uh, they have a right. If they're not worshiping the Elohim that they worship, they are heathens and they have a right to rule over the heathens and take everything they got. That's pretty much was their mindset that everybody was to become their slaves, servants, all their minerals, resources, everything they have, they have a right to. That's the wicked mindset of these people. Then they swept by like the wind and go on. Guilty men whose own might is their Elohim. And this is spoken of in Daniel chapter 11. Let's go there. Verse 36 through 38. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every Elohim, and shall speak marvelous things against the Elohim of Elohims, and shall prosper till the indignation of uh, be accomplished. For that that is determined shall be done. Neither shall he regard the Elohim of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any Elohim, for he shall magnify himself above all. But in his estate shall he honor the Elohim of forces. And the Elohim whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver and with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange Elohim, whom he shall acknowledge and increase with esteem, and he shall cause them to rule over many, and shall divide the land for gain. So they use even uh, their G.O.D. and their J.C. to conquer lands. It's a strange Elohim, and this is the Elohim of forces, the what they call the God of War, which is spoken of in the book of Enoch. Let me go grab that. All right, this is the book of Enoch, chapter 69, verse 6. And the name of the third, and it's talking about the the uh, fallen angels here. And the name of the third is God Riel. This is the one that showed all the deadly blows to the sons of men. And he led astray Eve. And he showed the weapons of death to the children of men, the shield and the breastplate and the sword for slaughter and all the weapons of death to the sons of men. So, God Riel, this is pronounced with the A-W, God, ah, ah, sound. I, I researched that. But God Riel, this is why they call upon God, brothers and sisters. It's the reason why they say God. God is not the same as Yahuwah. So this is their God of forces. And their JC is also tied with this one here. Brothers and sisters. Now I mentioned this in a previous video that G.O.D. is and JC is not. Yahweh and Yahusha, 
They represent two totally different things. These names represent rebellion against the word of the Almighty. They represent Bailey Owl. Bailey Owl, y'all. They have stood and trampled upon the words of Almighty Yahweh. This is who they serve. This is their Elohim. And their JC is that strange. The strange Elohim. And this God Riel is the, the God of forces, the God of war. The Elohim of war. That they serve, brothers and sisters. So, I mean, if you go further up and read, it talks about Kenham right here. All the way down, it's talking about Kenham, y'all. Rome. Rome. All the way down here. This is how you know you're close to Daniel chapter 12 when, when Michael stands up, the great prince for the Most High's people. We're right at the crest, y'all, with this Bible prophecy. So let's go back to Habakkuk. 2. Chapter 12, I mean verse 12. Are you not from everlasting, O Yahweh, my Elohim, my Kodesh one? We shall not die, O Yahweh. You have ordained them as a judgment. And you, O Rock, have established them for reproof. These people were picked out for our correction, y'all. The Most High sent them for our correction. That's they're they're as spittle to him to be used for the righteous one's correction. So don't be so hasty. To drop the hammer on all of them for their cruelty and their harshness. Because you have to put your face in that mirror and look at what you've been doing all your life against the Most High. And, and what our ancestors did against the Most High. To cause him to put those curses upon us and send this bitter hasty nation to punish us with such severe cruelty. But they took it too far. And that's why they must pay. Brothers and sisters. You are of purer eyes than to see evil. And cannot look at wrong. Why do you idly look at traitors. And remain silent when the wicked swallows up the man more righteous than he. You, you make mankind like the fish of the sea. Like crawling things that have no ruler. Wow. Remember that the man is just. They're, they're under. Um, where is that? Uh, they're under sp other spirits. To lead them astray from the almighty Yahweh. But we are. Being ruled directly by the Most High. Brothers and sisters. And they are being led astray from him. By spirits placed over them. And authority over them y'all. Let's see where was I. And remain silent when the wicked swallows up the man more righteous than he. You make mankind like the fish of the sea, like crawling things that have no ruler. 
and they're, they're acting like, well, actually, if, if the Most High is not their ruler, then they really have no ruler. He brings all of them up with a hook. We heard that in scripts. Put a hook in their jaws. He drags them out with his net. He gathers them in his dragnet. So he rejoices and is glad. Therefore, he sacrifice, sacrifices to his net and makes offerings to his dragnet. For by them he lives in luxury and his food is rich. Is he then to keep an empty, emptying, wait a minute. Is he then to keep on emptying his net and mercilessly killing nations forever? Now remember Esau was said to rule. Well, let's go to his blessings. Let's go to Esau's blessings. 27 I believe. Uh, let's see. Esau's blessing. Okay. Let's see. Wait a minute. All right. Verse 37. Genesis 27 and 37. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy master, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him, and what shall I do unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O father. Ooh and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. <laughs> And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. You have the best places in the earth, castles and, and, and vineyards, everything he would have access to, and the dew of heaven from above. Man, he would have it going on. And by thy sword shalt thou live, but he's going to have to war for everything he has. And shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass, when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Whoa. So Esau also honors this, oh, oh wrong one, uh, God of war, God real. The God of forces. The one who taught men to war. So this one here is in his pocket, in his corner. And just as JC was used to. To see if the people would fall in with their Elohim. So that if they didn't, they would declare them heathens and take everything and slaughter them. Brothers and sisters. So. This is just. A taste. Brothers and sisters. Of Bible prophecy. So go over. All these things. Including the war scrolls. Get understanding. Who um, Bible? I mean, uh, who Babylon is in these last days? Get understanding who Mystery Babylon is. Get understanding on who's uh, the House of Egypt in these last days. And the Most High will lead y'all into all truth, and you will know and understand what's going on. And you have no fear. Take the second covenant of promise into your heart, to your mind, that you may do them, brothers and sisters. And let the Most High lead you into all 
that he needs to lead you into. Step out of his way. Get yourself, examine yourself and see if are you in the way? Are you not understanding something here? Bring it before the throne. Pray fast. Pick up that book. Read, study, look up words. And start putting all this together, brothers and sisters. Because time is short and it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And this particular people, especially the ones behind the scenes, they are not going to rest until they kill everybody. And this is why the Messiah has to be sent to stop them because they would have killed everything, every living thing on earth if the devil had his way. Every living thing would be killed. Nothing spared. All creation destroyed. Because this is a merciless people. Why do you think they get all these um, chemical companies? Putting chemicals all up in your food. Putting chemicals in the air. Chemicals in your uh, products that you use. All designed to kill you. They're doing everything they can to make everything artificial as they can. A replacement copy, but not for your good. GMO copies of, of you know, mixed fruits and, and genes editing and splicing. And they're trying to alter human life as well. The man into something else that he wasn't created to be. You already see all the stuff that's happening all over the world, which they're accepting. They're not accepting just a, rain, a regular plain old man anymore or a regular plain old woman anymore. You have to have all these gender fluidity and all this stuff where you can be anything and whatever you desire. And people... Cannot see that it is as the days of Noah. Where all flesh was corrupted except for a few. And it is so right now. It's just a few people left. On this earth. They got the true spirit of the most high. And is claiming his name. And proclaiming his fame. And proclaiming his righteousness before the earth. It ain't that many people left in, in all the world, even within the Hebrew awakening that's being tainted with lies, deceptions, being tainted with Freemasonry, being tainted with, with, with mystery school teachings, being tainted with all sort of doctrines of devils and, and men. That's why you have to build your own personal relationship with the Most High Yahweh through His Son, Yahusha. You have to do it. You can't just rely on videos on YouTube and any of the other platforms out there. You can't rely on any pastor, minister, preacher, whoever they are. You have to rely on Father and the High Priest, His Son. And once you start learning these scriptures, then you can see who's really on here for him, brothers and sisters. Who's standing the test of time and who ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. So, brothers and sisters, what that I'm say, Shalom. Y'all pray for your brother as I'm praying for all of you. And y'all endure to the end. And give me a like. Shalom.